How to Eat Vegetables with Colleen Shermick. Today I'm going to make some beans. Now I want you to know something. If I bought a big container of beans like this, maybe a bag or two, maybe at, for the whole amount I'd pay $1.89, maybe 99 cents a bag. But if I buy it in a can, I have to pay $1.89 for that can, especially if I want to get organic. Why, why is the difference? I know because people don't know what to do with beans. They see them like, how do I make beans into soft beans? I'm gonna show you. The first thing you do is you rinse them. So you just take them over to the sink and rinse them. Then after you rinse them, you put them into a bowl with water. I, they have, I'm making them two different ways. One, I have it here in the bowl, and I have about an inch over where the beans actually are. The second way I'm going to make it, same thing, I'm going to put them in a crock pot and I'm going to put the water in about an inch, an inch and a half high above the beans. Now this is the first part of it. The first part of it is just soaking. If I went to cook these beans right away, the outside of the, the bean would shrivel up and become very tough and the inside of the bean would also be tough. What I want to do is I want to soften that outside of the bean and then cook them. So that's what we're going to do and I'll be back later to show you how they look. Welcome back. It's been about 12 or 16 hours and my beans have been soaking for that long. I just rinsed them with some purified water. If you look closely, you can see that the, the outer shells or the outer um, outsides of them, some of them are open, but you can see they're nice and smooth. And what I'm going to do now, I rinse them. And what I'm going to do now is just put them back into the crock pot, add some more filtered water, probably about an inch to two inches above the beans, and then let them cook. Now I know what you're thinking. You say to yourself, who wants to spend that much time in the kitchen? I don't, and I didn't. All I did was put a bowl, a bowl and a, a, a crock pot full of beans with some water, and I left them for 12 to 16 hours. I didn't have to stir them, look at them. I just left them. And in that time, they softened. Now, I'm gonna leave them again. I'm gonna come over here to my crock pot. Turn it on high and leave it. I have some, also, some uh, red kidney beans. They did the same thing. They were soaking all night. And I'm just going to take them, put them um, on the stove, put them on uh, simmer to a little bit higher than simmer, and leave them. All will be well. About uh, 45 minutes or so, I'll have some beans. I'll be back in then. Well, it's been about two hours. No, I'd give it take about an hour, 45 minutes. And I forgot about my beans, but that's okay because I was home. You never leave a pot on the stove when it's you know when you're not home, right? But um, it, yeah, it took about an hour, hour and 45 minutes finally to get back to it. As you can see, my beans are nice and cooked. I rinsed them. Now I'm going to uh, use the same pot that I had just been using, and I'm going to make some chili and or do something else with it. But you say, oh my goodness, look at all the leftovers. Yeah, this is perfect. You know, all I do is I put this in a plastic bag or in a jar, or you put it in the refrigerator if I'm planning on using it quickly, or I can put it into the freezer, and then whenever I'm ready to make some chili or make something with kidney beans, I have it. That's, that's how to make beans. Enjoy! Mm.